Hi everybody. I'm fixing to get ready for a 100 mile section hike on the Appalachian Trail. And as I was packing up my ditty bags, you know, with uh, first aid, toiletries, repair items, whatnot, occurred to me that some of my family and friends might like to see what all I carry. So this is what's in my ditty bags. So I just weighed this and it's actually about two pounds of small stuff. So I might need to evaluate some of this, but this is what I'm planning on taking. And I keep it in a number of different bags uh, that go in different locations in my pack for different reasons. And this is what I call my pocket. This, this will go in the main compartment of my backpack so I can access that when I'm in the camp. And I'll open that in just a minute. This is my map bag. In my map bag, I also carry a piece of string, and this goes in the top pocket of my backpack, so it's easily accessible, and I use this little string with a hook on it to uh, tie things onto the back of my pack, like some socks that might need to dry out, something like that. Sometimes there's also a pack of instant coffee in here. This is my first toiletries bag, and I keep this in my food bag, and I because I generally need this stuff in the morning and at night, and that includes my short toothbrush, toothpaste, pack of toothpicks, I carry a lot of toothpicks because I chew those all the time, chapstick, small piece of comb to uh, rake through the little bit of hair that I have, and I know that I'm going to need some sort of aspirin-like product every day, so I carry uh, enough for every day in a little bag that I can get to, uh, separate from my first aid kit. This is my second toiletries bag, and in addition to the toothpaste and the bag of bio wipes, I have some hand sanitizer and some powder, and this goes in the outside of my backpack so I can get to it quickly when I need to go somewhere. And I generally don't want these items where these items are, so I keep those separate. This is my What Might Happen kit or my Murphy kit, and these items go in either the bottom of my pack or generally they go in the hydration sleeve that uh, is always empty except for these items. I carry a ace bandage just in case I need to strap myself up. And a bunch of items in here, and this is where a lot of the weight is. So what might happen? Well, I might run out of toilet paper, so I've got a couple of wads of extra toilet paper. I might lose my spoon, so I carry a the lightest weight plastic spoon that I could find so I can still eat my food. I might lose the cap to my water bottle, so I carry actually two caps. This cap is a smart water bottle cap, and it's can be used to back flush my Sawyer water filter, so that's what that's for. And this is my Lucky Bottle Cap. I found this on my first AT section hike after I had lost the cap to my water bottle. So I carry that with me all the time. So that will probably mean I'll never lose another cap to a water bottle. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? I have uh, some uh, extra batteries. All my products use AAA batteries, so I just need five of those. And I have a piece of string. I have some water purification tablets. Not enough to finish a hike with, but enough for a day or two in case I need to hike out. I have a, I have a small sewing kit. And I wrote on there sew, because I always keep forgetting what's in here. Two safety pins and some thread and one needle. It's one repair item. I have some twist thighs for wire in case I need to strap something together. Uh, I've got a few rubber bands. And I have some duct tape. And the duct tape is also a first aid supply. And the duct tape is wrapped around a pencil. And there's a short section of a straw on the end of the pencil to keep the pencil point from poking through a hole in my bag. And you never know when you might need an inch of straw. Let's see, also I have a single razor blade in case I need to do some small surgery. 
And to go along with my spare water bottle cap, I have a spare O-ring for my filter. Found out the hard way that the, the Sawyer Squeeze doesn't work very good without an O-ring. So there's an extra one of those. This is a few matches and a striker in a plastic bag. This is a fire starter. I hardly ever build fires, but that's just what might happen. This is a small mirror that I can use for signaling. And if I position it right, you can see the other item that I always carry for shooting my videos, which is my Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. And this is the remainder of my first aid items. Uh, you carry what you think you need. And I've got to give a disclaimer. This is just what I carry, and you may need more stuff than I do. I know how to make my clothing and trekking poles and other things serve double duty if I need some emergency um, first aid. So I've got probably too many of these big band-aids. But if I leave two at home and just go with two, then I'll probably need four. So I've got five of those. got a, an assortment of smaller band-aids. I don't use a lot of band-aids. I use a lot of duct tape. Um, just one piece of paper to go with my pencil. And I've got two alcohol wipes. Those will supplement the uh, hand sanitizer. These are some DIY straws full of triple antibiotic ointment. I've got two tubes of uh, super glue type product. So in case I need to glue myself back together, because those seem to be really good at gluing skin together. So I carry those uh, for that. And then I've got a, a med supply. I've got some Benadryl. I've got some Pepto-Bismol. Looks like I need a new bag for that. I've got some aspirin, regular aspirin. And this is some, uh, I guess, diarrhea medicine. I don't know how to pronounce it. No wonder they call it Imodium. And some cold meds, just in case. About a day's worth of supply of those. And... I don't know why I'm still carrying these. I hurt my back several years ago and got some muscle relaxers, and so that bag has been in there, and I should probably leave that at home. So, this is my pocket, and this goes in my main compartment of my backpack, and I call it my pocket because I empty my contents of my pocket into it every night. But there's some items that, that are also just stay in here. The spot actually um, just goes in there at night. It's just on the outside of my pack during the day, sending a signal home. Let's see. I wear my watch during the day. And uh, that's about it. The rest of this stuff lives in the pocket. I have a backup battery source. I've got some more toothpicks because, like I said, I, I like to have access to those. I have a small Swiss Army pocket knife. This little flashlight is pretty good. And uh, especially this little flashlight I like because it's got a clip on it that I can attach to the brim of my baseball cap. And that, that way it serves as a headlamp as well as a nice little flashlight. I leave my wallet at home and in nice stead I put my driver's license, a credit card, and a little bit of cash, and an emergency contact information sheet in here. Also, some more toothpicks. And this is my one of my two luxury items. The other is just a piece of plastic that I sit on. It's a little AM, FM transistor radio with a single earpiece. So I can listen to a little bit of radio when I'm laying in bed uh, just before I go to sleep. Try to. So, that's it.